Body coordination and control is all about stimulus response. Detecting stimuli and responding. And that process of responding requires mechanisms of communication within the organism. And in an animal, there's actually two different communication systems. Now, so firstly, the one that you know about already is the nervous system. The thing with the nervous system is that the messages are very, very rapid. It's a very fast system which is ideal if you're touching something hot and you need to withdraw uh, your hand from it. So a reflex, or even as a, um, a goalkeeper and a ball's coming towards you, you need to be able to respond quickly. So um, a far, a, the, the nervous system allows a fast response. It's also very specific because the message just goes specifically to um, the part of the body you want to move. And also we can say that it's short lasting, so the message is sent and that's it. So that's an ideal system for, for many types of responses. But we also have another system that's used um, in other situations, and that's called the endocrine system. So the endocrine, endocrine means internal secretions. So when you see endocrine, I want you to think about hormones and in fact we could just call it the hormone system. Now we have uh, many different types of hormones and I'm only going to tell you about a few of them. But the thing with the hormone system is that it's really the opposite to the nervous system in many ways. It's not as fast, so it's, it's much more delayed in its response. It's not as specific, it's more widespread in terms of its effect. And finally, it tends to last longer in terms of the effect. So one way to consider um, an analogy here would be that it, um, if you think about communication systems that you use, Email would be an example, would be very similar to the nervous system in that, you know, you send an email to specifically to maybe to one person, uh, it gets there fast, um, and, it, it, you know, it, the effect tends to be more short-lived. Compared with, say, something like Facebook, where you update your status on Facebook, um, you know, it might be a little bit more delayed before people read it. Um, it can be spread to far more people and it tends to have a long, longer lasting influence. So the endocrine system or the hormone system tends to be a bit more like a Facebook post and the nervous system is a bit more like an email. So hormones are made by parts of the body called glands. Glands make the hormones. The hormones spread through the body, usually by the, the blood um, in the circulatory system, and they act on specific cells that we call target cells. So they're produced by the glands, they sent through the circulatory system and they affect target cells. So let's talk about a couple of different hormones. One of the ones that I'm sure you've heard of is called um, insulin. Insulin is a hormone that's involved in regulating blood sugar. It's produced by the pancreas. The pancreas is the gland that produces it. It gets released when there's a high concentration of glucose in the blood and its target cells are the liver and the muscle cells and it tells those cells to pack away the glucose out of the blood. So insulin is made by the pancreas, it's, um, it, it, uh, it's stimulated or it's released when there's high blood sugar, high blood sugar levels and it acts on muscles and the liver 
and it instructs those cells to pack away the, the glucose out of the blood. So its response then is to reduce the blood sugar level. So we have a number of other glands that produce many more hormones. So we also have uh, some, some glands in the brain, the pituitary gland and the hypothalamus that we're going to be learning about uh, with some specific hormones. And we also have the adrenal glands that are just above the kidneys that release adrenaline. And, uh, and we have the, uh, the sex hormones that are produced by the gonads, which are the testes and the ovaries. And um, so there's a whole variety of different hormones that act on different parts of the body to have specific roles. So that's the endocrine system.